much for joining us tonight. The voter approved courthouse project in Smith County is to blame for what will likely be an increase in property taxes. The proposed tax rate is about 36 cents per a $100 valuation up from the current rate of about 34 cents. This comes out to an annual tax increase of almost $51 for the owner of a $300,000 home. Now that's if the home's value stays the same. Tonight we take a closer look at the proposed rate and the county's budget. Smith County property taxes will likely go up next year, and this is the reason why. Construction of the new courthouse and parking garage. Projects approved by voters in 2022. It is a tight budget, and we told people it was, but it's still a successful budget, I really believe. When it comes to the budget, County Judge Neil Franklin says revenue from property taxes ended up being different from what was projected. Normally, it's fairly close to what we have as the certified number at the end, but when we received the certified number this year, it was a dramatic difference. The reason? A successful number of protests people who went to the appraisal district with complaints and walked away with a cheaper tax bill. The difference was a substantial amount, but when you balance it in and when you look at uh, policies that we have, budgetary policies, that's when you really look at it. So we were looking at, we had to find around a million dollars within our budget. And that difference has forced the county to really tighten its belt when it comes to the budget. That being said, Franklin and other commissioners are still prioritizing a 2.5% cost of living adjustment for all Smith County workers. We have to be, be conscious of not only the taxpayer, but of our employees. And I really wanted that focus to be on who we have now that are dedicated and come to work every day. Now, the county is yet to file the budget, and they still have time to do so. The commissioner's court will vote on the proposed budget and the tax increase early next month.